the embryo at the eleventh day. At this stage, the liver is beginning to turn red here and there, but it still appears to be white as a whole. The hemopoietic stem cells which were generated and amplified in the AGM move to the liver and begin to produce blood. The red blood cells and megakaryocytes are also already being produced. The red blood cells we can see here are clearly small and none have nuclei. Part of the cell extends from the megakaryocytes like octopus legs. Part of the cell bursts open, flies out in different directions, and then contracts to form a platelet. The platelets created by the megakaryocytes seem to show a form which is different from those in the yolk sac. The embryo at twelve and a half days. The liver is becoming a deep red. We have begun to see small, non-nucleated red blood cells mixed in with the primitive red blood cells. The embryo at thirteen and a half days. The embryo increases in size, and we can see the digits of the arms and legs more clearly. The blood vessels are developing. The primitive red blood cells are entering the narrow blood vessels. The embryo at fourteen and a half days. The embryo takes on a definite shape, and the blood vessels develop further. Primitive red blood cells and definitive red blood cells are mixed and flow together. On this day, the previously large number of primitive red blood cells decreases, the number of definitive red blood cells increases, and their ratio becomes half and half. The embryo at fifteen and a half days. The ratio of definitive red blood cells increases rapidly.
the primitive red blood cells gradually begin to slip away. You can see them slipping through the spaces between the nuclei in the endothelium. We see that with each ensuing day, the nucleated red blood cells are being replaced with red blood cells that have no nuclei. The hemopoietic stem cells flow from the liver to the bone marrow and continue their journey of rebirth.